Hey guys, Hook to Clash here. Been a while since I said that. Anyways, in today's video, we're going to be seeing SSG get another perfect ward. They seem to get them all the time. If you enjoy the content, I would seriously appreciate it if you drop a sub. We're getting close to 1k subs. Haven't quite figured out what to do when we get there. Let me know uh, in the comments below what you think. Let's try and do something different though. I know a lot of uh, content creators do like a sub war or something, but what? What ideas can we come up with to make the 1,000 subscriber special truly amazing? Anyways, let's get straight into the content and see how SSG gets 15 stars. And Nick is in here for Space Station. They're up against El Galponcito this week. I'm going to butcher that so many tail Um But this is the PIT week 4, I believe. And they are coming in... First hit, Nick's not coming with air. He's coming in with Super Witches and he's raging the Watermark. I mean, he's got no zaps. Now, often with this, uh, often with Super Witches, you will see zaps used uh, to take out like a flanking Inferno or Scatter, but not bringing any this time. Is he going to double rage this Watermark? I think he's going to double rage the Watermark. I think he's going after this single. We'll see what happens though. His Warden's under a lot of damage, though. This is not a very good Warden walk. This Ground Bow is going to ensure that the healers will not... Oh, the healers switched. That's not what he wanted. Is he going to freeze the Ground Bow? Please do it. Freeze the Ground Bow, Nick. Freeze the Ground Bow. Oh, no. This is not a good start. Nick, you should stick to ground... Uh, air. No, I'm kidding. We'll see if this ends up tripling. The Ground Bow finally goes down, but look at this. These healers are going to be stuck on the... Uh, on the Warden for quite a while here. He's lost one Super Witch to this single already. Is he going to lose a second one? The healers do finally switch. Hopefully they can do something here. This is not looking great, but it's not looking horrible either. King's on the top side, helping Funnel there with the Siege Barracks. He's got a good push going into the core, and it is a double multi-core, which is obviously great for Super Witches, because they can just... They can just kind of bully their way through it. But he's only got one Rage. I think he needs to... Oh, I would have raged the healers more so than the troops here. His troops don't really need the raging. His healers do here. He's down to two super... He's down to one super witch. In saying that, there's not a lot of base left. There's not a lot of base left. But these healers are not getting the benefit of the rage. Can this super witch stay up on the bottom side? That would be huge if she could. She might just... And with that, I think he's going to get the triple here. Nicely done to Nick. I mean, I gave him stick for how bad, poorly the start of the attack went. But when you have such an open core of the base and only multis in there, Super Witches are a great option. He's swagging the RC and two free spells somehow. He's just that good at the game. This man knows exactly how to triple every base. Good luck getting a defense against Nick. It's just kind of that simple, ladies and gentlemen. And Space Station starting off the war hot. Fresh off holding a one-star defense, Agent's going to try and uh, double down on the pain for El Galponcito here. Coming in with a kind of a Zap Lalo, but also kind of not. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know what to... I'm just going to call it a Sui Lalo, probably. But he did just yet... Just an odd attack is the best way to put it. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do it, Agent. He's going to do it, guys. So, notice how, notice how we quaked this, this, and this. An RC shield will kill all of that. So what he's going to do, he's going to Sui, try and go in here with his Sui and get this Queen and the Scatter with his King and Queen. And then he'll put his RC onto this air bow if it's up, or that air bow. And uh, he will take out the entire core of this base with an RC ability. That's a very safe blimp. Yes, that was. So King's down. He's just waiting on his Queen because he knows his Queen's going to be tougher to funnel into here. Um, plus the King's doing his own thing. Time is an issue. That's the biggest issue I see at this point. In, at this point in time. Pops King straight on a giant bomb. Perfect. I assume it was so he didn't get targeted by the single, but that plan did not work, unfortunately. And yep, RC coming down. He just needs her to get rid of this uh, Wiz Tower. Then he can pop her. <laughs> How good is that chat? How good is that chat? This queen still has ability. As long as she doesn't go to the outside. Pop. Perfect. Well, goodbye, base. Nice knowing you. 
Oh, I saw that coming from a mile away. It's just... It's just crazy the ideas these top players come up with to dissect bases. Particularly the bases where you've got the core uh, defenses that are really hard to path to. So you have to force a path for the RC ability. But once you force that path, it's just GG, isn't it? Like, I don't think there's any doubt in any person's mind that this was a triple. And it was all set up because of that insane... So in saying that, this isn't an overkill. He doesn't actually have that many loons up. But he absolutely has enough loons up to finish the job. It's just time, right? I think he's got enough time, though. Has he? Guys? He needs a loon split. Oh, he gets a great loon split. I think that loon split just saved him. I don't think he would have got down this CC. Yep, that's a triple. Nicely done from Agent there. Coming in with the sexy... Kind of suey, kind of zap lalo. It's like a mix of the two. Um, and executes it brilliantly. And Gereticus is in here. Um, coming in. <laughs> coming in with a Zap Lalo. A genuine Zap Lalo this time. Not like a proper Zap Lalo. Like a genuine Zap Lalo here. So Zap's the core multi. Gets a few sweepers with it as well. That's nice. Oh, I've seen this base before. This is an annoying base. I don't know how to hit it. So I'm going to be taking a... I'm going to be taking pointers from Gereticus here. Uh, RC comes in on the top side. He's still got two zaps left. What are they for? One for the single and one for the headhunters. Nice. And king and queen will deal, have to deal with the hound, but that's fine. Oh, that arch tower does not go down, but the, he just uses the baby dragon said, I wonder if he's trying to get like... The single here, or how, how far he's expecting this Sui to go? He he has left a lot to Lalo. It's a nice Sui. It's great value. It's just whether it's uh, too much to Lalo or not. He has dealt with the uh, Tornado Trap, though. That's by the Town Hall. So that'll be nice for his Lalo there. Um, King and Queen doing their thing. How much are that going to get? Like, how much could they get here? He freezes the single to keep the Hound alive. That's interesting. Don't see that a whole lot, but uh, clearly he doesn't think he'll need his freezes in a lot of other spots. Tanks the scatter with just the Stone Slammer. Perfectly done. Just uses his Warden now. Look, I love how he didn't deploy the Warden at the start. He knew he didn't need it at the start, and he waited um, until he was near the RC to use it to help the Headhunters out with that extra health there. They get an extra few hundred hit points, basically. And this looks crushed. This is so wrecked. He just needs to get these two headhunters down fast. To deal with the enemy queen. He does get them down a little late so they're not in the warden. But there's not a lot of ground defenses anyway. Queen goes down. Wow, that was a smooth Lalo. I don't think he could have done that Lalo any better. It was perfectly timed. Spells were brilliant. Look at all the red bombs in the core, so the zaps worked out perfectly, and that's just a triple. What an amazing Lalo. How many smoother Lalos will you ever see than that? I'm not kidding, that's one of the smoothest Lalos I have ever seen. Could have swagged Warden, yeah, he could have swagged a lot more than his Warden as well. GG to Gereticus. And JD9 is in here for Space Station, coming in. Ooh, they're coming in with the Inferno Skelly attack. Now, normally you do this to abuse poor sweeper positioning, so I'm guessing he'll come in from 9 to 10. Let's see if that happens. Glimpse the Town Hall. I've seen this more and more with Infer... Infer Look, now this is a safe blimp. Look at that. You didn't see a drag in that blimp. G Kudos, JD9. I'm I like that. I like that. We've seen a few non-safe blimps this war. But yeah, I'm seeing that more and more where for this attack, because time's not an issue, people kind of just um, start the attack with the uh, blimp for the town hall if it's quite exposed. And if they lure the CC, they deal with it. And if not, they just start the attack shortly after. I expect a warden pop here. Oh, he... Pop it. Man, yeah, okay. He gets a few of the loons in it. I would have popped it a second earlier so that he had more loons in the core. Triggering traps, but it's all it's not all bad stuff. So the Inferno Drags are in the court. Here comes the Rage. Now this is the good thing about not needing the Rage for the Town Hall. Is that, uh, look at it. Look at these Inferno Drags. Rage, they are so powerful.
Rip, that hound died very quickly. Poison comes down for uh, everything coming out there. He's got a bunch of Inferno Drags up, but not like a ridiculous amount. It's not like a guaranteed triple at this point. He has got a bunch of freezes left. I assume he's just going to keep freezing the Scatter and the uh, Air Defense. And that should just be enough there. He's still got his Queen ability. I'm surprised he hasn't used it, because this Queen's about to die through ability. Bam, she died. That was, that was always going to happen. And is there just a uh, twist in this? Probably not. This is looking like a triple. It's not going to be the quickest attack ever. In fact, cleanup will take a, a while. But JD9, nicely done there from him coming in with the Inferno Skelly attack. Um, could have been better with the Queen, but that's about my only criticism there. Aside from that, just pretty standard stuff. Oh, Water needs a Sam. He wouldn't have it any other way, right, Lex? Where's Lex? Get Lex in the chat. He knows a thing or two about the Warden eating a Sam that he shouldn't. Regardless, nicely done here. An SSG, a uh, 4 out of 4. Are they going to get the perfect war? Speaking of Lex, he's got the last attack left. Is he going to finish it? Can he clutch the perfect war? And Lex is in here. Can he get the perfect war? Coming in with Hybrid. Going to be bombing the Town Hall here. Can he get... I love it when the Headhunters die to the blimp fall damage. Yep, these Headhunters are dead. Watch it happen. Bam. Goodbye, Headhunters. Nice knowing you. It's just so nice when the CC is near the Town Hall. And it means when he deals with the CC with his Queen here, that uh, he can save the poison for the pups. It's a huge advantage. Don't think he wanted to wall break that wall. Or that. Will that get the junction? It does. Look at all those walls. That poor air defense compartment, like literally every wall's dead in it. <laughs> nice. This is a really good uh, Coco Loon. I'd be surprised if it doesn't get a Sam. Yep, pulls a Sam. Oh, he's got no more Coco Loons. He's already pulled two Sams. What's the bet there's another two or three on this charge and that this is baited? I actually think Lex failed one of his wall breaks. I think he was meant to get a wall break to the core here. But one of the wall breakers didn't go where he wanted. So it's going to be interesting to see if Lex can turn this one around. Because the queen getting that entire core, not just for the multi, but for the storages and all the hit points, is kind of huge for this attack. Expect a heal down early. Nice heal. Still looking okay. Not perfect, but still looking okay. See, now the queen's going to go down. Oh, she goes up. She will beat this wall. Nice warden. Gets the headhunters. That's the most important part. And he rages the queen through the wall. Nice. He's still got plenty of spells here. But where does he use his last heal? He uses it there. Not on the core troops. There's not a lot in this heal. And there's a bunch of miners in the core here. But the heal is switched to the miners. Is that a good thing? Does his queen have enough health? Oh, he pops the queen. That was not a good thing. The heal is switching. He freezes the scatter. And Lex. I hate to say it, ladies and gentlemen. And you guys know me well. You know how much I don't like to say this. Lex did not ruin the perfect. Lex clutched the perfect war. Let's just take a minute. Let's take a minute to realize what this means for all of us. Okay, moment over. Lex coming in with the lovely triple. Plenty of hype. Well, actually, not a lot of hybrid left up, but he's got a freeze. He's got an RC ability. He's got a. He's got all four of his heroes up, actually. Not real. He's got all four of his heroes and, like, two miners up. Not often you see that. GG's to Lex. That was a really nice hit, buddy. As you can see here, SSG coming in with another perfect war. They come in with plenty of those, as we saw on the channel last week. If you want to see more of SSG, please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to cover them as much as possible because they are a pretty OP team. Anyways, nice try to El Galp and Cito today. They put in their best, but unfortunately, if you want to beat SSG, you need to get 15 as well.